welcome back to the channel and today I have another power coupler experiment I have a hunch that these power couplers uh, would actually be pretty good for building ornithopters I don't know that that's just an assumption and this video is gonna be the journey to find out if that's gonna be easy or hard or impossible but uh, before we get to that uh, one thing I noticed with this vehicle that I didn't notice in the video when I made them is uh, if you just rest on the power couplers you get a flat tire <laughs> Isn't that kind of funny? But then as soon as you start going, they kind of just go back out into normal wheels. But I thought it was kind of funny watching the tire go flat. I was trying to get a thumbnail, and I was like, stop it. Stop. But let's try to do ornithopters. And the reason why I think these could be good for ornithopters is because they are naturally bendy and flexible. And when I, the last time I built an ornithopter, that's kind of what I was relying on by setting like different steering hinge um, strength settings. So maybe it'll be a good thing. Maybe it'll be a bad thing. But let's see if I can manage to build a functional orth ornithopter with these power couplers as the wing connections, basically. So I don't know yet. Last time I built an ornithopter, I think I used sails for the wings. I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to try to just use normal wings. I'm going to try to do normal wings first. I got to remember how I even build ornithopters. I know that we're going to need a rotating servo programs to basically this is going to be our flapping motion. And I haven't built an ornithopter since the airborne update came out. So I'm going to use an elevator tail for now for our tail portion of the ornithopter and then our standard tail fin. OK, so for the wings, this is the important part. My plan for this is to have a link, a series of power couplers, and I don't quite know yet. I think maybe what I'm going to have in between is a pipe followed by a T, followed by a pipe, and then another power coupler. And then maybe just one more. How big do our wings need to be? I don't know yet. Let's go with this for now. So now out of curiosity, if I just uh, do this, all right, nothing much. Once we add some weight and air resistance to these wings, the floppiness should uh, become just inherently, it'll do something. So the reason why I have these segments between the power couplers is because, well, I need a place to attach the wings to. So for instance, I can put that right there and right there and right there. But what I gotta be really careful of is that these segments remain unattached from each other because otherwise the power coupling um, is gonna be overridden which is a solid series of blocks. So let's go into wings. And it looks like this is what I'm gonna be doing here. And you know what? Maybe I can actually replace this with another one. And then this can be one of these. That might actually work. Let me go like that and we go like that. That doesn't look too bad. And then at the end here, I can slap one of these things down. That almost looks like feathers, you know? Wait, why? Oh, uh, these are not good. Okay, hold on. Got to choose the right pipe pieces in the right spots. All right, there we go. Now, oh, this one's not attached. Why is this one not attached? Oh, because there was the thing. Okay, all right, all right, I'm good. I'm good. Figuring it out, figuring it out. Okay, so now I can't even like, I don't, the wing just override, it, it, it stays stationary and my body's turning. Uh, let's copy this to the other side. And now what happens? Oh, well, let's make them go in the same direction. Here we go. That was epic already. Like it looked like it just, it flapped, like it looked natural. All right, ready? Flap. Okay, this is like the visual of the wing. It's looking great. Like, look at, it looks so good. It looks so good, but um, it's not quite, <laughs> it's not quite there yet. I think the thing we need is actually, we do need to use a steering hinge. And the reason is that we need the, the wing, like rather than like, not only just going like this, but also like this, it, it's hard. It has to pivot this way as well. Not just this way, because we need to be able to like flow through. I don't know. I don't know what, what terms I'm looking for. You know what I mean, though. I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. You guys are smart. So steering hinge. This steering hinge is going to be unpowered. And I don't know if I even need to set the strength necessarily. All right, but this should allow us forward movement. Uh, let me just experiment with strength settings. Let's go from 100 to 50. Uh, I don't know yet. Don't know yet. 
So the problem is getting off the ground, though. You know what? What if I spawn on the water? Water is just air. Okay. Look, I'm doing this manually, by the way. I'm going left, right, left, right. And we do have forward... We already kind of have an ornithopter. This is not bad. It's not great, but it's also not bad. All right, I'm going to make a, some adjustments here. We're in mirror mode. Let's do this. Let's uh, make it a little bit more aerodynamically sound so that um, we just have less holding us back. Let's look at our aerodynamics. How are we doing? Oh, the pipes are so bad. Do I need the pipes? Can I do something better than the pipes? See, what would be better than the pipes would be this piece. But I don't have this spaced out to accommodate that very well. Okay, I fixed it. And now I can actually add these uh, doubled up here. That's not too bad. Why is this not attached? Hmm, because of what I just did. Now what do I do? I know. I can use uh, blah, 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 the uh, um, the thing connector, flat connector. I got there. A lot of times my brain, it, just, it has the image of the thing in my mind and the name of it just isn't it just takes longer to get there okay come on come on but they don't seem to be functioning the same way right now don't do they up down okay they look they look like they're functioning the same way now let's change the angle to 60 degrees not 600 no not 6000 and let's go in the water again to start wait what okay no i know why that was happening all right we're looking more symmetrical now I've added more wings, so there is some more resistance. But it is kind of weird how asymmetrical the pattern seems to be in the water. Like, one wing just kind of, like, takes over. Oh, okay. I think I added too much. Because now you can see the first power coupler attached to the body. Like, that just flexes way too much. And these are all, I think, by default maximum stiffness. Interesting. Alright, I have dialed it in a little bit better. Maybe even a lot of it better. Okay, we still need... We still need some more fine-tuning. A lot of fine-tuning. We gotta, we need a lot more. But the point is that the I, I reduced the power couplers. We only have two power couplers, so I made the wings slightly shorter. But that gave the wings just that little bit less resistance. Oh, boy. Interesting. Okay. But as you can see, they still have the flexing effect. But now I need to dial in the um, the steering hinge that is on them. I'm going to reduce this down to like 25. It's really hard to tell if that made it better or worse. And I'm realizing now that my tail isn't really going to work. Because I need a tail that is going to also contribute to roll. Wait, where's my center of forces here? So my lift is doing okay up there. All right. Wait, why? Now this doesn't make sense. How is my center of lift all the way out there? That actually makes no sense. These wings are identical. That would explain why I'm like tilting to the right though. Why? Why would the center of lift be out there? There must be like something. Right, I'm going to delete these. Now where's the center? Now the center of lift is right here. Now that doesn't make any sense either. The center of lift should be like here. What? Right, what if I just move this? Andrew Lift is there. This doesn't make any sense to me. I do not get... I do not get this. Wait. And then this one doesn't make any sense. Which one is that? Center of vertical drag. How is this happening? Hold on. I'm going to save this right now. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to spawn it back in. These forces... This can't be right. My center of mass is directly centered. How can the center of lift be over here? Okay, this is really weird. Oh. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Let me see something here. Okay, no, it's not what I thought. I think it's something to do with the helicopter blades. All right, now that I have all the helicopter... Okay, so now, center of lift is centered. Let's see how this thing feels. Is this better? I don't know if that's better or not. The helicopter blades look kind of good, though, but why are they messing with my center of lift? Maybe now that I've deleted them, I can reapply them and it'll be fine. All right, we go right there. Two, three. What's our center of lift? That makes no sense. What? So I delete, I'm going, wait, what? I'm gonna add less lift over here. Helicopter blades provide lift, right? And then it goes back in that direction. And then I add a helicopter blades over here. It seems like every helicopter blade adds lift to the left side. Here, let's confirm this right now. So we have a centered center of lift. We take a short helicopter blade, we place it right there. I'm predicting it's going to move a little bit to the left. 
Yep. And then if I place one over here, it's going to move further to the left. Yep. And then further to the left. Okay. This is weird. What is the secret of the helicopter blades? What are you hiding? Let me try a different one. Regular helicopter blade. Centered. This one. Centered. Okay. Maybe it's just the short helicopter blades. These ones can still look cool. These ones do look cool. All right. And flappa, 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 flappa. Oh my God. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is so cool. Uh, uh, pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. Eh, eh. Oh, 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 I'm upside down. I don't have any roll. That's my problem. I don't have any roll right now. All right. So here is where a new tail has to come into play. I believe these are the most effective for like pitch and stuff. Let's just see how these work for pitch. There's that. I, I kind of want faster, faster reaction time than that. Put our speed up to two. Yeah. All right. There we go. Let's see how this feels. Can we get off the ground though? Come on. Come on. Dang it. Without. Okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> there we go. Pitching up. It's working. I don't have a roll yet programmed into it. All right. I need some logic now. I also should make this automatic. Man, when I made my Dragonfly Ornithopter, I programmed some like crazy logic to have like a takeoff sequence and all that stuff to prevent the wings from getting destroyed. I don't know if I can do that as much as easy with this. All right. There we go. Now the tail has both pitch and roll programmed into it. So theoretically that should work. But now I got the issue with the, the, the flapping I was doing with A and D. Now I kind of want it to be automatic. So let me set these to toggle. This is where I'm going to end up destroying my wings. Um, let's go ahead and toggle. Oh, this is different as well. I'm going to need all this is why I needed so much logic. Because right now there's a positive signal. Um, hold on, let's do Q&E. All right, a negative signal lifts the wings up. And then it'll just go back to normal. But then a positive signal flaps the wings down. Oh, that could be the takeoff seat. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. That could be the takeoff sequence, though. All right. <laughs> go, go, go. I'm flying upside down. We need to be able to control the up and down motion. Uh, let me see something real quick, though. If I go down first. Okay, ready? See, what's great... Oh my goodness. What's great about the power coupling in this case is... The flex of the power coupling works as a suspension that cushions this. Because if these if these were solid, we can actually test that out real quick. But my prediction is this breaks my wings. Ready? Uh, wrong button. See? If they're solid, it's way too violent. Try one more time. Yeah, see, it's going to break every single time. But as default power couplers, it just cushions it enough. And I can actually take off unless that happens. But we're gonna we're gonna fix things. We're gonna fix things. All right. So now what we are missing is the logic. Down is the positive direction. So when I press number one, it is going to go positive for half a second. This is these are times are gonna need adjusting, and then it's gonna pause for half a second. Let's see if that feels the way I expect it to feel. Oh, I could actually route it to the um the servos here. All right. So number one. That feels about what I want it to feel. All right, so now the next thing, this is going to go negative when I press one. And now what that's gonna do is the same thing, but it doesn't start until a half second later. So once the down flap finishes, it then activates the up flap. So now it should look like this. And now I'm not doing that flapping anymore. This is just all default. So now how's the roll feel? Come on, roll to the left. I'm not getting any altitude okay we're we're so close we are we're very close it's just right now our our controls other than our flapping it's our our pitch and our roll are just not good and i don't know why which concerns me a little bit what i like is i can take off the ground without having to do any fancy stuff the wings just push me up off the ground which is really good why does the tail not do good maybe i need more lift in the tail maybe i need to like flap maybe i could flap faster let's change it to like I'm going to go double speed. Let's go 0.25. Let's just see how that feels. Terrible. It's bad. It's really bad. All right. I changed it instead of um, half a second, 0.4 seconds. And it feels like a much nicer... I think I get more speed out of this. Oh, let's check our speed. 
So we're going at like, when I'm playing horizontal, between 80 and 90, I'm gonna say, when we're going horizontal. So now there's, now here's where I can start measuring the changes. If I change the, the strength setting on the steering hinge, if I go back to 50, is that faster or slower than what we just had? All right, now we're flying horizontal. I'm trying to, oh, why are we going that way? All right, here we go. Seems like about the same. Trying to turn, can't turn. Oh, you know what? There's a much easier way to do roll than this. We have flap wings. I'm gonna swap out these wings for flap wings and then we can just build the roll into the actual, like the, the wings themselves. All right, so now I've got this built into my wings. All right, let's see how this feels. Get off the ground first. All right, ready, roll right. It worked. Now let's level off and roll left. I'm actually kind of surprised at how slow it is. Because it's built into wings that are doing a weird flappy thing. So it kind of does make sense in a way. I mean, it'd probably be better if I'm soaring. It's just, the, I think the, th the main thing is I just don't go very fast. And when you're using aileron based controls, your wind speed affects how forceful they are. Because it's just that much more wind flowing over them to react to. But... If we're an ornithopter right now, this thing's doing really good. You know, I'm not even I'm not even relying on gyros at all. Pitch down. You know what? Pitch is feeling really good now, actually. Look at this. Can we go up against gravity is the thing. I actually, I don't know if there would be... I don't know how possible it is for me to make these wings better. I'm going to extend them a little bit. Right? There, there's a little bit of a collision happening. This is colliding with my body, kind of. So I'm just going to... Let's enter mirror mode and go boop. All right. That... Shouldn't change anything too much, but it could make some subtle changes. I love the way the wings bend. Oh, I should I should experiment with the stiffness of the power coupling. We're still going like 90. Breaking 100 sometimes, which is good. Now, all right, so we're able to break. Actually, let's look. What's our max speed when we're just going horizontal? Or I'm trying to go horizontal. It's hard to tell. Like, it goes up and down. Yeah, as soon as my nose points down a little bit, I break 100. All right, I'm just gonna say, like, 90 to 100 right now. Let's change the stiffness. Let's just go extreme and go all the way down just to feel what are, what are the two sides of the extremes that we're working with. Oh, no. Oh, no. Already, this is not gonna work. Our wings are just gonna be spaghetti. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> it's It's so sad. <laughs> This is rope. Imagine trying to flap with rope. That's what we're doing. Not that the power coupler is a rope or anything. I'm just saying it just feels like it and it looks like it. Sad wings. All right, let's go 50.5 rather. All right, you know, I think maximum stiffness is really gonna be our best thing. Just looking at the difference, I really don't see anything less less than maximum stiffness being beneficial at all. You know, but let's let's go like 9.9. .9. Right, 0 0.9. Is this going to be better or worse? Wow. It's kind of crazy how one is like the only thing. If these were made any weaker from their default state, this would not have been a, an idea that worked. It's like the perfect it's the perfect uh, stiffness just as they are. You know, power coupling, you're perfect the way you are. All right, the only thing I don't like is how my tail looks. Um, I'm gonna try something here. My lift, it's not like terrible. I'm going to add, I'm probably just gonna like take this away at some point, but I'm gonna add that just to make my tail a little bit lighter. And then this also allows me to have a smooth kind of transition there. Actually, I wanna go even smoother than that. I'm worried I'm gonna be adding weight. That's just gonna make me slower, but is just a little bit of an aesthetic improvement. All right, how's this look? What do our centers look like right now? All right, lift is a little bit farther back now that I added those, but let's just see what happens. All right, we're still flying. All right, let's go up. I wonder if there's any way I can get more speed, more force out of these wings. All right, we're definitely... Are we definitely slower? Yeah, we're in like 70s and 80s now instead. Doesn't feel too bad. It might not be worth it though. I don't even know if it's a, even that much of an aesthetic improvement, to be honest. All right, I'm gonna delete the wings. You know what, this thing needs yaw. That's what's kind of missing is yaw right now. Um, I don't know the best way to do that. I'm not really liking this visual either. I kind of just liked it the way it was before. That's just giving me like skirt vibes on like a ornithopter plane thing. All right, I got yaw built into that. I don't know if, I don't know if it's gonna work that great. 
I'm just having a lot of trouble turning in certain directions. Let's see what happens. All right. Yeah, left. I can see it starting to work. I'm also using my tail in combination. Now let's go to the right. Okay. It's better than nothing for sure. I had a lot of trouble trying to just turn right before I had the tail with yaw. Because the bank and roll, the way that you do with airplanes, doesn't work quite as easily. It's not as uh, fluid with an ornithopter. The yaw does feel much better. You know what? If anything, I don't know. May might I want to combine yaw and roll into like one control? Do they work together like that? No, no, it's good to have them separate. I was just experimenting with trying to force them at the same time. I definitely feel more in control when I can choose. But, I mean, we're flying. We're flying with the power of power couplers. Well, they're not really, like, adding much power to it. Oh, here's, we gotta, here's what we gotta do. We gotta compare if these power couplers weren't there. How different would this feel? Look at that, went through the hoop of fire and everything. All right, well, right now, as far as speed goes... Honestly, it's probably going to be faster without the power couplers, but these just kind of like, it just gives it that stability. Oh, I'm not going to be able to take off without the power couplers. All right, we're at like 90. 90 to 100 now. I went down a little bit with gravity. Yeah, I'm going to say we're hovering around 90 with our current build. And now let's replace these power couplers with just solid objects again. All right, now the problem is I'm just not going to be able to take off. Oh, I took off. All right, here we go. It looks terrible in comparison. I mean, I'm slightly faster. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I'm slightly faster. But the the visuals. Look at these visuals. It's so rigid. It's so robotic. It's unnatural. I hate it. Here's what this... Oh! Oh, it's so nice. This is so satisfying. This... This is the power of power couplers right here. Like, listen to it. It sounds way better. The other one was like clank, clank, clank. This one's like swoosh, squeak, squeak, squeak because of the the uh, that's the sound the servo makes. <laughs> Look at it. it. Looks like it feels like it feels natural. It feels like this could be a living creature, doesn't it? Other than the fact that it just doesn't look like a living creature. Kind of looks like a living creature. It's wings. The wings look the best. The body's just I didn't put any work into the body at all. But this goes to show you, power couplers, I think, have added something positive for ornithopters. If you want to build an ornithopter that actually looks like the wings are bending and flexing like real life, because they actually are with the power couplers, then now you can do this. And I think it also just, I think it just helps. It just helps it, it just, it just helps it be more stable. It feels way more stable and less rigid. I like it. So if you have any other ideas on what you'd like to see, uh, w not just with power couplers, but just in general in trail makers, power couplers are just the new shiny toy. Let me know down in the comments below. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I got to come back for a landing. Don't leave yet. If I can't land this thing, it doesn't mean anything. All right. Play the epic suspenseful music on whether or not this is going to work. Right, we're heading back in for the carrier. Our wings are flapping. We're tired. We need to come in and save some energy. With the press of a button, I can turn into sore mode. Control myself down. And come in for the softest landing you've ever seen on the channel. Look at that. And there you have it. So now, if you've enjoyed this episode, then you'll probably enjoy some more stuff that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.